Hello everybody. Uh, in my first video I showed you modifications that I did to my um, sand blaster and I received a lot of questions regarding uh, metering valve. So here is the idea how can you make this uh, metering valve by yourself. Those are uh, one and a quarter inch uh, pipe. Uh, you have one and a quarter inch T one and a quarter inch um, straight pipe and reductor that goes from one and a quarter inch to half inch and a small pipe uh, that uh, the size depends on the screw that you will use. The metering valve is empty inside And this small pipe is used to regulate the air that is introduced into the, the valve. So with uh, this uh, bolt, you can close and open the um, holes that are on the, uh, on the small pipe. And this way you can regulate the mixture of media and the air. The bottom plug is hollow inside, so I used a GB weld to plug it <coughs> so the, the media would not fall down all the way down. So as you can see, it's just empty inside. Obviously, when you do this valve, use the tape to seal the, all the joints. This is the bushing. Obviously one and a quarter inch. And as you can see, the female threads are grounded down. So it, it is uh, smooth and the media can uh, fall down easily. Not the fake media, but uh, the real ones. So the bushing goes into the opening of the bottom door and because it is not the, the thread is not straight um, so it doesn't go deep into the T I had to use uh, two rubber washers to make it seal properly and avoid any leaks. So that's, that's the way the, the valve looks like when it is assembled. Nothing special really. And this is the improvement that I will add up uh, pretty soon. This is the air dryer. Uh, the only problem that I have right now is the moisture that gets from the compressor. So this will uh, solve this problem hopefully. So I also included some uh, pictures that you can stop the video and look more into the details and figure out how you can build your own valve. I even cut it open for you. Good luck with your project.